Hey, Clearwater first graders. It's me, Mr. Seton. I'm filling in for Mrs. Seton. She's taking the week off. She'll be here joining me shortly, though. I'm here for Mindful Monday. So like with any week, Mindful Monday is to get your brain prepped, not only for the day, but for the rest of the week. So join me for a little exercise. All right, first things first. For this exercise, you're gonna want enough space to move around a little bit. So you can be in your backyard, like I am. You could be inside, in the living room, maybe. Uh, you really just need enough space, kind of like for Mrs. Seton's Mindful Monday with the yoga. You really just need enough space uh, for something like that. But we are going to be moving around a little bit. So if there's a chair in the way or a couch, you can go around it, come back to your same spot. All right. Um, one other thing you're going to need for this Mindful Monday is you're going to need a partner. I just happen to have a partner right here. Hi friends. So grab a partner. Um, it can be a friend. It can be mom, dad, brother, sister, stepsister, a dog, whoever. You can even make up an invisible partner. Just imagine one if you need to. Um, so these exercises we're going to do can either be done with somebody or on your own. It's up to you. All right. So we've got our partner. We're ready to go for the first exercise. I should also say we're going to be doing three stationary exercises. So that's in the same spot and then we're going to be doing two mobile exercises where you go and kind of move around a little bit um, so first one is going to be what we call low five push-ups and we're going to be doing 10 reps 10 repetitions of each exercise so repetition just means you're doing it over and over and over again so we'll do 10 for each exercise remember that number it's going to come in handy during each one here we go all right so like i said the first one it's going to be low five push-ups. I'll do a push-up, which looks like this. I'll go down. I'll come back up, and I'll give my partner a low high five. I guess it would just be a low five is what we'll call it. You can also do your push-ups on your knees. I'm going to lose these sandals here and go barefoot since I'm out in the grass. All right, you ready? Let's go, 10 of them. <laughs> One. So those might be tough for you, and if they are, that's okay. You can do them however you want, as long as you're moving. That's the whole point of this, to get your mind moving from Mindful Monday. If you mess up and go to the wrong side like we did, that's okay too. Just keep rolling with it. All right, so like I said, in between stationary exercises where you stay in one place, we're going to be doing mobile exercises where you move around a little bit. For the first one, we're going to be doing crab walks. Crab walks are kind of like this. You're just on your hands and feet, almost like you're sitting down, but keeping your butt or your rear end off the ground. So you're just going around. We'll do this for 10 seconds. So I'll count out loud, and you can do them with me. One, two, three, four, five. Keep going. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Woo. All right. So that was our first mobile exercise. Our next stationary exercise is going to be high five sit-ups. The high five sit-ups look like this. So get in your same spot where you're doing push-ups earlier. Get with your partner, and you're just going to link legs together. You kind of lock your feet together. Your feet can be like this, where somebody has them on the outside. They can be like this, where somebody has them on the inside. They can be like this, where somebody's both inside and outside. Whatever, it wor whatever works to keep them together. Then you're going to be doing a sit-up, or like we talked about, 10 setups because it's 10 repetitions for each one. And at the top, you're going to high five your partner just like that. Ready? All right, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 
10 sit-ups, nice work. All right, so we did our second stationary exercise. Now we're on to our second mobile exercise. Our second mobile exercise is bear crawls. So it's kind of like the upside down version of the crab walk. So instead of being on your hands like this, you're gonna be on your hands like this, and you're just gonna be kind of crawling around. So make sure your knees don't touch the ground. But make sure your knees don't touch the ground. So you're crawling around, and we'll do this like we did for crabs. We'll do it for 10 seconds. And if you really want to get into it, you can make a sound like a bear makes. I, I meant to say it on the crab, but I don't know what sound a crab makes. I guess it would be something like this. That's the sound a crab makes. All right, so we'll do this for 10 seconds. Ready? Go. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And 10. You can go whichever way you want on that one. It's the fun part about it. Our last stationary exercise is going to be squats, partner squats. So you give it your partner like before. We'll stand back here so you can see us. You're just going to squat down with your legs like this. You have your arms, arms here, come to your side. Come up in the air if you want, behind you, whatever you want to do. Then you come up, give a high five at the top. So go back down again. That'll be one. Come up, high five. That's two. Down, up, that's three. Down, up, four, down, up, five. How many reps are we doing of this? It's 10. If you said 10, I couldn't hear you because we're way over here somewhere else. So if you said 10, you're right. If you said something else, hey, you're probably right too. Do whatever you want. We're going to do 10. So we have five more to go. So we demonstrated the front way first. Now we're going to demonstrate the back way. You can do this way if you want. You can split them up and do five and five like us, or you can do 10 and 10, or just 10 and one, and that's it, whatever you want to do. So this is the back way. You squat down just like you did, you come right back up. There's one. There's two. Three. Four. Last one. Five. Those are a little tougher. So that's it. Five exercises. You can do them however you want with whoever you want, or with nobody at all. It's up to you. Thanks for joining us on this Mindful Monday. Have a good week.